Americium, Wikipedia article audio. Americium is a synthetic chemical element with symbol M and atomic number 95. It is a transuranic member of the actinide series, in the periodic table located under the lanthanide element europium, and thus by analogy was named after the Americas. Americium was first produced in 1944 by the group of Glenn T. Seaborg from Berkeley, California, at the Metallurgical Laboratory of the University of Chicago, a part of the Manhattan Project. Although it is the third element in the transuranic series, it was discovered fourth, after the heavier curium. The discovery was kept secret and only released to the public in November 1945. Most americium is produced by uranium or plutonium being bombarded with neutrons in nuclear reactors One ton of spent nuclear fuel contains about 100 grams of americium. It is widely used in commercial ionization chamber smoke detectors, as well as in neutron sources and industrial gauges. Several unusual applications, such as nuclear batteries or fuel for spaceships with nuclear propulsion, have been proposed for the isotope 242mm, but they are as yet hindered by the scarcity and high price of this nuclear isomer. History Occurrence Americium is a relatively soft radioactive metal with silvery appearance. Its common isotopes are 241 AM and 243 AM. In chemical compounds, americium usually assumes the oxidation state plus 3, especially in solutions. Several other oxidation states are known, which range from plus 2 to plus 8 and can be identified by their characteristic optical absorption spectra. The crystal lattice of solid americium and its compounds contain small intrinsic radiogenic defects, due to metamictization induced by self-irradiation with alpha particles, which accumulates with time, this can cause a drift of some material properties over time, more noticeable in older samples. Although americium was likely produced in previous nuclear experiments, it was first intentionally synthesized, isolated and identified in late autumn 1944, at the University of California, Berkeley, by Glenn T. Seaborg, Leon O. Morgan, Ralph A. James, and Albert Giorso. They used a 60-inch cyclotron at the University of California, Berkeley. The element was chemically identified at the Metallurgical Laboratory of the University of Chicago. Following the lighter neptunium, plutonium, and heavier curium, americium was the fourth transuranium element to be discovered. At the time, the periodic table had been restructured by Seaborg to its present layout, containing the actinide row below the lanthanide one. This led to americium being located right below its twin lanthanide element europium, it was thus by analogy named after the Americas, the name americium and the symbol M are suggested for the element on the basis of its position as the sixth member of the actinide rare earth series, analogous to europium, EU, of the lanthanide series. The new element was isolated from its oxides in a complex, multi-step process. First plutonium-239 nitrate solution was coated on a platinum foil of about 0.5 cm2 area, the solution was evaporated and the residue was converted into plutonium dioxide by annealing. After cyclotron irradiation, the coating was dissolved with nitric acid, and then precipitated as the hydroxide using concentrated aqueous ammonia solution. The residue was dissolved in perchloric acid. Further separation was carried out by ion exchange, yielding a certain isotope of curium. 
The separation of curium and americium was so painstaking that those elements were initially called by the Berkeley group as pandemonium and delirium. Initial experiments yielded four americium isotopes, 241 AM, 242 AM, 239 AM, and 238 AM. Americium-241 was directly obtained from plutonium upon absorption of two neutrons. It decays by emission of a alpha particle to 237 NP, the half-life of this decay was first determined as 510 plus or minus 20 years but then corrected to 432.2 years. The second isotope 242 AM was produced upon neutron bombardment of the already created 241 AM. Upon rapid beta decay, 242 AM converts into the isotope of curium 242 cm. The half-life of this decay was initially determined at 17 hours, which was close to the presently accepted value of 16.02 H. Synthesis and Extraction The discovery of americium and curium in 1944 was closely related to the Manhattan Project, the results were confidential and declassified only in 1945. Seaborg leaked the synthesis of the elements 95 and 96 on the U.S. radio show for children quiz kids five days before the official presentation at an American Chemical Society meeting on November 11, 1945, when one of the listeners asked whether any new transuranium element beside plutonium and neptunium had been discovered during the war. After the discovery of americium isotopes 241 AM and 242 AM, their production and compounds were patented listing only Seaborg as the inventor. The initial americium samples weighed a few micrograms, they were barely visible and were identified by their radioactivity. The first substantial amounts of metallic americium weighing 4200 micrograms were not prepared until 1951 by reduction of americium fluoride with barium metal in high vacuum at 1100 degrees Celsius. The longest lived and most common isotopes of americium, 241 AM and 243 AM, have half-lives of 432.2 and 7,370 years, respectively. Therefore, any primordial americium should have decayed by now. Isotope Nucleosynthesis Existing americium is concentrated in the areas used for the atmospheric nuclear weapons tests conducted between 1945 and 1980 as well as at the sites of nuclear incidents, such as the Chernobyl disaster. For example, the analysis of the debris at the testing site of the first U.S. hydrogen bomb, Ivy Mike, revealed high concentrations of various actinides including americium, but due to military secrecy, this result was not published until later, in 1956. Trini Tite the glassy residue left on the desert floor near Alamogordo, New Mexico, after the plutonium-based Trinity nuclear bomb test on July 16, 1945, contains traces of americium-241. Elevated levels of americium were also detected at the crash site of a U.S. Boeing B-52 bomber aircraft, which carried four hydrogen bombs in 1968 in Greenland. In other regions, the average radioactivity of surface soil due to residual americium is only about 0.01 picocuries g. Atmospheric americium compounds are poorly soluble in common solvents and mostly adhere to soil particles. Soil analysis revealed about 1,900 times higher concentration of americium inside sandy soil particles than in the water present in the soil pores, an even higher ratio was measured in loam soils. 
Americium is produced mostly artificially in small quantities, for research purposes. A ton of spent nuclear fuel contains about 100 grams of various americium isotopes, mostly 241 AM and 243 AM. Their prolonged radioactivity is undesirable for the disposal, and therefore americium, together with other long-lived actinides, must be neutralized. The associated procedure may involve several steps, where americium is first separated and then converted by neutron bombardment in special reactors to short-lived nuclides. This procedure is well known as nuclear transmutation, but it is still being developed for americium. The transuranic elements from americium to fermium occurred naturally in the natural nuclear fission reactor at Oklo, but no longer do so. Metal Generation Americium has been produced in small quantities in nuclear reactors for decades, and kilograms of its 241 AM and 243 AM isotopes have been accumulated by now. Nevertheless, since it was first offered for sale in 1962, its price, about 1,500 US dollars per gram of 241 AM, remains almost unchanged owing to the very complex separation procedure. The heavier isotope 243 AM is produced in much smaller amounts, it is thus more difficult to separate resulting in a higher cost of the order 100,000160,000 USD slash G. Physical Properties Americium is not synthesized directly from uranium the most common reactor material but from the plutonium isotope 239 PU. The latter needs to be produced first according to the following nuclear process. Chemical Properties The capture of two neutrons by 239 PU reaction, followed by a beta decay, results in 241 AM. The plutonium present in spent nuclear fuel contains about 12% of 241 PU. Because it spontaneously converts to 241 AM, 241 PU can be extracted and may be used to generate further 241 AM. However, this process is rather slow, half of the original amount of 241 PU decays to 241 AM after about 15 years, and the 241 AM amount reaches a maximum after 70 years. Chemical Compounds The obtained 241 AM can be used for generating heavier americium isotopes by further neutron capture inside a nuclear reactor. In a light water reactor, 79% of 241 AM converts to 242 AM and 10% to its nuclear isomer 242 mm. Americium-242 has a half-life of only 16 hours, which makes its further up conversion to 243 AM, extremely inefficient. The latter isotope is produced instead in a process where 239 PU captures four neutrons under high neutron flux. Most synthesis routines yield a mixture of different actinide isotopes in oxide forms from which isotopes of americium can be separated. In a typical procedure, the spent reactor fuel is dissolved in nitric acid, and the bulk of uranium and plutonium is removed using a purex-type extraction with tributyl phosphate in a hydrocarbon. The lanthanides and remaining actinides are then separated from the aqueous residue by a diamide-based extraction, to give, after stripping, a mixture of trivalent actinides and lanthanides. Americium compounds are then selectively extracted using multi-step chromatographic and centrifugation techniques with an appropriate reagent. A large amount of work has been done on the solvent extraction of americium. For example, 
a 2003 EU-funded project codenamed Europart studied triazines and other compounds as potential extraction agents. A bistriazinal bipyridine complex was proposed in 2009 as such a reagent is highly selective to americium. Separation of americium from the highly similar curium can be achieved by treating a slurry of their hydroxides in aqueous sodium bicarbonate with ozone, at elevated temperatures. Both AM and CM are mostly present in solutions in the plus 3 valence state, whereas curium remains unchanged, americium oxidizes to soluble M complexes which can be washed away. Metallic americium is obtained by reduction from its compounds. Americium fluoride was first used for this purpose. The reaction was conducted using elemental barium as reducing agent in a water and oxygen-free environment inside an apparatus made of tantalum and tungsten. An alternative is the reduction of americium dioxide by metallic lanthanum or thorium. Oxygen compounds In the periodic table, americium is located to the right of plutonium, to the left of curium, and below the lanthanide europium, with which it shares many similarities in physical and chemical properties. Americium is a highly radioactive element. When freshly prepared, it has a silvery-white metallic luster but then slowly tarnishes in air. With a density of 12 g cm3, americium is less dense than both curium and plutonium, but has a higher density than europium mostly because of its higher atomic mass. Americium is relatively soft and easily deformable and has a significantly lower bulk modulus than the actinides before it, th, pa, u, n, p, and p, u. Its melting point of 1173 degrees Celsius is significantly higher than that of plutonium and europium, but lower than for curium. Halides At ambient conditions, americium is present in its most stable alpha form which has a hexagonal crystal symmetry, and a space group P63-MMC with lattice parameters A equals 346.8 pm and C equals 1124 pm, and 4 atoms per unit cell. The crystal consists of a double hexagonal close packing with the layer sequence A back and so is isotypic with alpha lanthanum and several actinides such as alpha curium. The crystal structure of americium changes with pressure and temperature. When compressed at room temperature to 5 GPa, alpha M transforms to the beta modification, which has a face-centered cubic symmetry, space group FM 3M and lattice constant A equals 489 pm. This FCC structure is equivalent to the closest packing with the sequence ABC. Upon further compression to 23 GPa, americium transforms to an orthorhombic gamma M structure similar to that of alpha uranium. There are no further transitions observed up to 52 GPa, except for an appearance of a monoclinic phase at pressures between 10 and 15 GPa. There is no consistency on the status of this phase in the literature which also sometimes lists the alpha, beta, and gamma phases as I, 2 and 3. The beta-gamma transition is accompanied by a 6% decrease in the crystal volume, although theory also predicts a significant volume change for the alpha-beta transition, it is not observed experimentally. The pressure of the alpha-beta transition decreases with increasing temperature and when alpha americium is heated at ambient pressure, at 770 degrees Celsius it changes into an FCC phase which is different from beta am, and at 1075 degrees Celsius it converts to a body-centered cubic structure. The pressure temperature phase diagram of americium is thus rather similar to those of lanthanum, praseodymium, and neodymium. Orthorhombic MCL2, 
A equals 896.3 plus or minus 0.8 pm, B equals 757.3 plus or minus 0.8 pm and C equals 453.2 plus or minus 0.6 pm, tetragonal MBR2. A equals 1159.2 plus or minus 0.4 and C equals 712.1 plus or minus 0.3 pm. They can also be prepared by reacting metallic americium with an appropriate mercury halide HGX2, where X equals Cl, Br, or I. As with many other actinides, Self-damage of the crystal lattice due to alpha-particle irradiation is intrinsic to americium. It is especially noticeable at low temperatures, where the mobility of the produced lattice defects is relatively low, by broadening of X-ray diffraction peaks. This effect makes somewhat uncertain the temperature of americium and some of its properties, such as electrical resistivity. So for americium-241, the resistivity at 4.2 K increases with time from about 2 ohm cm to 10 ohm cm after 40 hours, and saturates at about 16 ohm cm after 140 hours. This effect is less pronounced at room temperature, due to annihilation of radiation defects, also heating to room temperature the sample which was kept for hours at low temperatures restores its resistivity. In fresh samples, the resistivity gradually increases with temperature from about 2 ohm cm at liquid helium to 69 ohm cm at room temperature, this behavior is similar to that of neptunium, uranium, thorium, and protactinium but is different from plutonium and curium which show a rapid rise up to 60 K followed by saturation. The room temperature value for americium is lower than that of neptunium, plutonium, and curium, but higher than for uranium, thorium, and protactinium. Americium is paramagnetic in a wide temperature range, from that of liquid helium, to room temperature and above. This behavior is markedly different from that of its neighbor curium which exhibits antiferromagnetic transition at 52 K. The thermal expansion coefficient of americium is slightly anisotropic and amounts to times 106 slash degree C along the shorter A axis and times 106 slash degree C for the longer C hexagonal axis. The enthalpy of dissolution of americium metal in hydrochloric acid at standard conditions is 620.6 plus or minus 1.3 kJ slash mole, from which the standard enthalpy change of formation of aqueous M3 plus ion is 621.2 plus or minus 2.0 kJ slash mole 1. The standard potential M3 plus slash M0 is 2.08 plus or minus 0.01 V. Americium readily reacts with oxygen and dissolves well in acids. The most common oxidation state for americium is plus 3, in which americium compounds are rather stable against oxidation and reduction. In this sense, Americium is chemically similar to most lanthanides. The trivalent americium forms insoluble fluoride, oxalate, iodate, hydroxide, phosphate, and other salts. Other oxidation states have been observed between plus 2 and plus 7, which is the widest range among the actinide elements. Their color in aqueous solutions varies as follows M3. M4+, plus, MVO+, plus, 2, M6O2+, plus, 2 and M7O5, 6. All oxidation states have their characteristic optical absorption spectra, with a few sharp peaks in the visible and mid-infrared regions, and the position and intensity of these peaks can be converted into the concentrations of the corresponding oxidation states. For example, AM has two sharp peaks at 504 and 811 nm, 
Emmet 514 and 715 Nm, and Emmet 666 and 992 Nm. Calcogenides and Nictides Silicides and Borides Organoamericium Compounds Biological Aspects Americium compounds with oxidation state plus 4 and higher are strong oxidizing agents, comparable in strength to the permanganate ion in acidic solutions. Whereas the AM4 plus ions are unstable in solutions and readily convert to M3 plus, the plus 4 oxidation state occurs well in solids, such as americium dioxide and americium fluoride. All pentavalent and hexavalent americium compounds are complex salts such as camo 2 f 2 Li-3-MO-4 and Li-6-MO-6, Ba-3-MO-6, MO-2-F-2. These high oxidation states M, M, and M can be prepared from M by oxidation with ammonium persulfate in dilute nitric acid, with silver oxide in perchloric acid or with ozone or sodium persulfate in sodium carbonate solutions. The pentavalent oxidation state of americium was first observed in 1951. It is present in aqueous solution in the form of MO plus, 2 ions or MO, 3 ions which are however unstable and subject to several rapid disproportionation reactions. Three americium oxides are known with the oxidation states plus 2, plus 3, and plus 4. Americium oxide was prepared in minute amounts and has not been characterized in details. Americium oxide is a red-brown solid with a melting point of 2205 degrees Celsius. Americium oxide is the main form of solid americium which is used in nearly all its applications. As most other actinide dioxides, it is a black solid with a cubic crystal structure. The oxalate of americium, vacuum dried at room temperature, has the chemical formula M237H2O. Upon heating in vacuum, it loses water at 240 degrees Celsius and starts decomposing into MO2 at 300 degrees Celsius. The decomposition completes at about 470 degrees Celsius. The initial oxalate dissolves in nitric acid with the maximum solubility of 0.25 g/L. Halides of americium are known for the oxidation states plus 2, plus 3, and plus 4, where the plus 3 is most stable, especially in solutions. Reduction of M compounds with sodium amalgam yields M salts the black halides MCl2, MBr2, and AMI2. They are very sensitive to oxygen and oxidize in water, releasing hydrogen and converting back to the M state. Specific lattice constants are Americium fluoride is poorly soluble and precipitates upon reaction of M3 plus and fluoride ions in weak acidic solutions. Fission The tetravalent americium fluoride is obtained by reacting solid americium fluoride with molecular fluorine. Another known form of solid tetravalent americium chloride is CAMF5. Tetravalent americium has also been observed in the aqueous phase. For this purpose, black M4 was dissolved in 15 MnH4F with the americium concentration of 0.01 M. The resulting reddish solution had a characteristic optical absorption spectrum which is similar to that of AMF4 but differed from other oxidation states of americium. Heating the M solution to 90 degrees Celsius did not result in its disproportionation or reduction, however a slow reduction was observed to M and assigned to self-irradiation of americium by alpha particles. Most americium halides form hexagonal crystals with slight variation of the color and exact structure between the halogens. So, 
Chloride is reddish and has a structure isotypic to uranium chloride and the melting point of 715 degrees Celsius. The fluoride is isotypic to LAF3 and the iodide to BII3. The bromide is an exception with the orthorhombic PUBR3 type structure and space group CMCM. Crystals of americium hexahydrate can be prepared by dissolving americium dioxide in hydrochloric acid and evaporating the liquid. Those crystals are hygroscopic and have yellow reddish color and a monoclinic crystal structure. Isotopes Applications Ionization type smoke detector Oxyhalides of americium in the form M6O2X2, MVO2X, M4OX2 and M3OX can be obtained by reacting the corresponding americium halide with oxygen or SB2O3, and amokal can also be produced by vapor phase hydrolysis. The known chalcogenides of americium include the sulfide AMS2, selenides MSE2 and M3SE4, and tellurides M2TE3 and MTE2. The nictides of americium of the AMX type are known for the elements phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, and bismuth. They crystallize in the rock salt lattice. Americium monosilicide and disilicide were obtained by reduction of americium fluoride with elementary silicon in vacuum at 1050 degrees Celsius and 1150 1200 degrees C. MSI is a black solid isomorphic with La SI, it has an orthorhombic crystal symmetry. MSIX has a bright silvery luster and a tetragonal crystal lattice. It is isomorphic with PUSI2 and THSI2. Borides of americium include AMB4 and AMB6. The tetraboride can be obtained by heating an oxide or halide of americium with magnesium diboride in vacuum or inert atmosphere. Analogous to uranocene, americium forms the organometallic compound americene with two cyclooctane tetraene ligands, with the chemical formula 2AM. It also makes the trigonal tricyclopentadienyl americium 3AM complex with three cyclopentadienyl rings surrounding one atom of americium. Formation of the complexes of the type M3, where BTP stands for 2,6-dipyridine, in solutions containing NC3H7BTP and M3 plus ions has been confirmed by EXAFs. Some of these BTP type complexes selectively interact with americium and therefore are useful in its selective separation from lanthanides and another actinides. Radionuclide Americium is an artificial element of recent origin and thus does not have a biological requirement. It is harmful to life. It has been proposed to use bacteria for removal of americium and other heavy metals from rivers and streams. Thus, Enterobacteriaceae of the genus Citrobacter precipitate americium ions from aqueous solutions, binding them into a metal phosphate complex at their cell walls. Several studies have been reported on the biosorption and bioaccumulation of americium by bacteria and fungi. The isotope 242mm has the largest cross sections for absorption of thermal neutrons, that results in a small critical mass for a sustained nuclear chain reaction. The critical mass for a bare 242mm sphere is about 914 kg. It can be lowered to 3,5 kg with a metal reflector and should become even smaller with a water reflector. Such small critical mass is favorable for portable nuclear weapons, but those based on 242 mm are not known yet, probably because of its scarcity and high price. The critical masses of two other readily available isotopes, 241 am and 243 am 
are relatively high 57.6 to 75.6 kg for 241 am and 209 kg for 243 am. Scarcity and high price yet hinder application of americium as a nuclear fuel in nuclear reactors. There are proposals of very compact 10 kW high flux reactors using as little as 20 grams of 242 mm. Such low power reactors would be relatively safe to use as neutron sources for radiation therapy in hospitals. About 19 isotopes and 8 nuclear isomers are known for americium. There are two long-lived alpha emitters, 241 AM and 243 AM with half-lives of 432.2 and 7370 years, respectively, and the nuclear isomer 242M1M has a long half-life of 141 years. The half-lives of other isotopes and isomers range from 0.64 microseconds for 245M1M to 50.8 hours for 240AM. As with most other actinides, the isotopes of americium with odd number of neutrons have relatively high rate of nuclear fission and low critical mass. Americium-241 decays to 237 NP emitting alpha particles of five different energies, mostly at 5.486 MeV and 5.443 MeV. Because many of the resulting states are metastable, they also emit gamma rays with the discrete energies between 26.3 and 158.5 keV. Americium-242 is a short-lived isotope with a half-life of 16.02 H. It mostly converts by beta decay to 242 cm, but also by electron capture to 242 pu. Both 242 cm and 242 pu transform viaduct nearly the same decay chain through 238 pu down to 234 u. Nearly all of 242 m1 am decays by internal conversion to 242 am and the remaining 0.459% by alpha decay to 238 np. The latter subsequently decays to 238 pu and then to 234 u. Americium-243 transforms by alpha emission into 239 np, which converts by beta decay to 239 pu, and the 239 pu changes into 235 u by emitting an alpha particle. Americium is the only synthetic element to have found its way into the household, where the most common type of smoke detector uses 241 AM in the form of americium dioxide as its source of ionizing radiation. This isotope is preferred over 226 RA because it emits five times more alpha particles and relatively little harmful gamma radiation. Element collector Theodore Gray mentions in his book The Elements, a visual exploration of every known atom in the universe. You might think that a synthetic radioactive element that follows plutonium and has a significantly shorter half-life would be some kind of superbomb material, available only to scientists in secret laboratories. Perhaps a mad scientist is studying americium in a lair somewhere but if you want some yourself you can simply walk into any neighborhood hardware store, supermarket, or Walmart and buy some, no questions asked. Neutron Source Production of Other Elements The reason is not that americium is fundamentally less dangerous than the elements around it. In fact, the commonly available isotope, 241 AM, is significantly more radioactive than weapons-grade plutonium, and at least as toxic. No, the difference is simply that there is a useful application for americium that requires only a very tiny amount, 
and for which a company was prepared to go through the effort required to carve out and get a regulatory exception. The amount of americium in a typical new smoke detector is 1 microcurie or 0.29 microgram. This amount declines slowly as the americium decays into Neptunium-237, a different transuranic element with a much longer half-life. With its half-life of 432.2 years, the americium in a smoke detector includes about 3% Neptunium after 19 years, and about 5% after 32 years. The radiation passes through an ionization chamber, an air-filled space between two electrodes, and permits a small, constant current between the electrodes. Any smoke that enters the chamber absorbs the alpha particles, which reduces the ionization and affects this current, triggering the alarm. Compared to the alternative optical smoke detector, the ionization smoke detector is cheaper and can detect particles which are too small to produce significant light scattering, however, it is more prone to false alarms. Spectrometer S241 AM has a roughly similar half-life to 238 PU, it has been proposed as an active element of radioisotope thermoelectric generators for example in spacecraft. Although americium produces less heat and electricity the power yield is 114.7 MW slash G for 241 AM and 6.31 MW slash G for 243 AM and its radiation poses more threat to humans owing to neutron emission. The European Space Agency is considering using americium for its space probes. Health Concerns Notes Bibliography Another proposed space-related application of americium is a fuel for spaceships with nuclear propulsion. It relies on the very high rate of nuclear fission of 242 mm, which can be maintained even in a micrometer-thick foil. Small thickness avoids the problem of self-absorption of emitted radiation. This problem is pertinent to uranium or plutonium rods, in which only surface layers provide alpha particles. The fission products of 242 mm can either directly propel the spaceship or they can heat up a thrusting gas, they can also transfer their energy to a fluid and generate electricity through a magnetohydrodynamic generator. One more proposal which utilizes the high nuclear fission rate of 242 mm is a nuclear battery. Its design relies not on the energy of the emitted by americium alpha particles, but on their charge, that is the americium acts as the self-sustaining cathode. A single 3.2 kg 242 mm charge of such battery could provide about 140 kW of power over a period of 80 days. Even with all the potential benefits, the current applications of 242 mm are as yet hindered by the scarcity and high price of this particular nuclear isomer. The oxide of 241 mm pressed with beryllium is an efficient neutron source. Here americium acts as the alpha source, and beryllium produces neutrons owing to its large cross-section for the nuclear reaction. The most widespread use of 241 m neutron sources is a neutron probe a device used to measure the quantity of water present in soil, as well as moisture-slash-density for quality control in highway construction. 241 AM neutron sources are also used in well logging applications, as well as in neutron radiography, tomography, and other radiochemical investigations. Americium is a starting material for the production of other transuranic elements and transactinides, for example, 82.7% of 242 AM decays to 242 cm and 17.3% to 242 PU. In the nuclear reactor, 
2.42 am is also up converted by neutron capture to 2.43 am and 2.44 am, which transforms by beta decay to 244 cm. Irradiation of 2.41 am by 12 c or 22 ne ions yields the isotopes 247 es or 260 db, respectively. Furthermore, the element berkelium had been first intentionally produced and identified by bombarding 241 AM with alpha particles, in 1949, by the same Berkeley group, using the same 60-inch cyclotron. Similarly, nobelium was produced at the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research, Dubna, Russia, in 1965 in several reactions one of which included irradiation of 2.43 am with 15 n-ions. Besides, one of the synthesis reactions for lawrencium, discovered by scientists at Berkeley and Dubna, included bombardment of 2.43 am with 18 o. Americium-241 has been used as a portable source of both gamma rays and alpha particles for a number of medical and industrial uses. The 59.5409 keV gamma ray emissions from 241 AM in such sources can be used for indirect analysis of materials in radiography and X-ray fluorescence spectroscopy, as well as for quality control in fixed nuclear density gauges and nuclear densometers. For example, the element has been employed to gauge glass thickness to help create flat glass. Americium-241 is also suitable for calibration of gamma-ray spectrometers in the low-energy range, since its spectrum consists of nearly a single peak and negligible Compton continuum. Americium-241 gamma rays were also used to provide passive diagnosis of thyroid function. This medical application is however obsolete. As a highly radioactive element, americium and its compounds must be handled only in an appropriate laboratory under special arrangements. Although most americium isotopes predominantly emit alpha particles which can be blocked by thin layers of common materials, many of the daughter products emit gamma rays and neutrons which have a long penetration depth. If consumed, most of the americium is excreted within a few days, with only 0.05% absorbed in the blood, of which roughly 45% goes to the liver and 45% to the bones, and the remaining 10% is excreted. The uptake to the liver depends on the individual and increases with age. In the bones, Americium is first deposited over cortical and trabecular surfaces and slowly redistributes over the bone with time. The biological half-life of 241 AM is 50 years in the bones and 20 years in the liver, whereas in the gonads it remains permanently. In all these organs, americium promotes formation of cancer cells as a result of its radioactivity. Americium often enters landfills from discarded smoke detectors. The rules associated with the disposal of smoke detectors are relaxed in most jurisdictions. In 1994, 17-year-old David Hahn extracted the americium from about 100 smoke detectors in an attempt to build a breeder nuclear reactor. There have been a few cases of exposure to americium the worst case being that of chemical operations technician Harold McCluskey, who at the age of 64 was exposed to 500 times the occupational standard for americium-241 as a result of an explosion in his lab. McCluskey died at the age of 75 of unrelated pre-existing disease. <laughs>